How to help a dog that hates bath time, bonus, 10 tips. Helping your dog that doesn't like bath time. Helping your dog that hates bath time may seem like an impossible task, but there are solutions to make this easier. Here you will find a list of situations that you might relate to, and a bunch of useful tips to help you make bath time fun for your dog. Water is supposed to be a good experience, and I'm going to show you a way to make that happen. Is a dog afraid of water? Is that really a thing? Unfortunately, for some, it's a reality. The good news is that it doesn't have to stay that way. We're going to go through this step by step and try to understand why your dog feels this way, so you can come up with a solution to help your dog enjoy the water. Here you'll find some of the most common situations that dog owners will face, and what can be done about it. Why does my dog not like water? When dogs are still puppies, they will remember all those good memories, but this means they also don't forget those experiences too. This socialization period will be when they're going to develop their feelings about water. Pet owners may not realize how their exposure to water at a young age will impact them later on. If you constantly avoided the rain and never let your dog experience this with you, then your dog could easily make an assumption that rain is bad. Creating a positive experience with water when they are young, this will help with how they perceive it later on. Any exposure to water will be new, so your dog will not likely be happy about this. Maybe your children would spray the dog with the hose. Kids can be hard on animals sometimes, and that could be enough for a dog never wanting anything to do with water again. Not enough time to adjust to this new routine. A new experience can be stressful for anyone, including the nervous animal that has no clue on what you are doing. Don't worry if your dog doesn't like water. There's still hope for your furry friend, and we'll take a look at some of the different problems and what can be done about it. How do I get my dog to like water? This takes time. The best way for your dog to like water is to give them slow gradual exposure to it. It's not uncommon for some dogs to dislike water, so let's see what can be done about it. Try introducing them to just a little bit of water in the tub at first, and reward them every time for good behavior. Slowly increase the level with each time they are brought back to the tub. You don't need a lot of water in the tub, and this will be enough to start helping your dog know that water is okay. Avoid any washing in the beginning, and just with your hand and gently pet them. Be patient. They need to get comfortable with this experience, so you don't want to overwhelm them. If you try to rush this, then this could end up taking much longer. Constantly talking to them and making it appear as an enjoyable experience will be important. Dogs pay close attention to you visually, so don't give them a reason to think of this as a negative thing. Outdoor exposure. Give your dog a chance to enjoy some water from outside the house. Go to a beach, this will make a great spot for some exposure to water. Pick a time when the public will be less likely to be on the beach. Bring some water toys and take your dog through the shallow end of the water. Play a game with your dog, so now water can start becoming an experience your dog looks forward to. What if my dog won't go near the water? Maybe your dog isn't ready to test the water. That's okay, eventually, your dog will recognize that this is a safe thing to do. Keep bringing your dog to this place, but make sure their leash is long enough to avoid the water if they wish. Repetition and persistence will go a long way and help your dog feel more comfortable about testing the water out. Safety first. Keep your dog on a leash at all times. You can't predict how your dog will react outside, so having control will ensure your companion will make it home with you every time. It's also important to make sure your dog has had all its shots before doing any of this. My sister had a dog die a few years ago because of parvovirus, so please make sure your dog is vaccinated before you start letting them explore outside. How often should I bathe my dog? This will likely not be a great experience for either of you, but it still needs to be done. 
Your dog would prefer it if you didn't do this at all and would avoid it if they could. Even though you both would rather not do this, you still need to know, how frequently should my dog get a bath? This isn't a simple answer and will depend on a few different things. While dogs naturally groom themselves, they still need a bath to complement the process. However, it can also lead to skin problems and can also facilitate the likelihood of developing an infection. The reason you want to bathe your dog will have to be considered when deciding how frequently it should be done. If your dog spends a lot of time outside, then it may be covered in dirt. If this is the case, then you may need to wash them every week or two. Now, a dog that prefers the comfort of the home and rarely spends much time outside will only need a few baths throughout the year. Regardless of how your dog feels about cleaning, it still needs to be done. Let's see if we can give you a few strategies to help with this. When should you give your dog a bath? When trying to figure this out, you need to consider a few different things. What does your canine do most of the day? If the answer is that your dog plays outside most of the day, then frequent baths are going to be important. You'll know when your dog needs to be washed, there's no way you can smell your way around this. If your dog stinks, it's time for a bath. If your dog is a complete mess, try removing most of it outside before attempting to give it a bath. Find a shampoo that is made for dogs, which can be found at your local pet store. If you can't find one or prefer to order online, then you can find a top shampoo product here. Start with the bottom and work your way up. Your dog will not likely enjoy having his head or face washed. Use caution, all products can irritate the eyes. Remember, you can always ask a qualified veterinarian for recommended products and the frequency of cleanings required. If you require medicated shampoo, it's best to speak with a vet before making a purchase. How to bathe an aggressive dog. So, you're attempting to give this dog a bath, well at least you tried. This dog doesn't want anything to do with it and has no problem letting you know. This once well-behaved canine has now transformed into a cast member for the next Jurassic Park movie. Panic may be setting in, or it can be a complete dislike for anything related to a bath. Your dog could be recalling a bad connection with baths, which is why acts of aggression are now starting to show. Maybe your dog is having a hard time standing in the tub, or the water may be too hot or cold for them. You may also notice your dog becoming defensive once it's bath time, then you will likely have to develop a whole new strategy. There are a few things you might need to do, which may help reduce some of these issues. If your dog is terrified of baths and feels trapped, then you can expect a response of aggression. It may be hard to picture, but imagine yourself in their situation. Try taking your dog outside to burn off some extra energy. If your dog is tired, you have a little more success with bathing. Try using a non-slip mat for your dog's bath. Tubs can be slippery, so this can be the cause of your dog's stress. Make sure you have everything you can possibly need, otherwise your uncomfortable dog may make a dash for freedom. Find someone to help you if needed. This can be especially helpful if your dog is big and may prevent some unnecessary issues from your pet. If you are concerned about your safety, then applying a muzzle before the bath may be ideal. Maybe sedation might be an option for your dog. Talk to a veterinarian to see if this is the best course of action. Remember that your top priority is you and your dog's safety. Take any steps needed to ensure this is safely done and be gentle throughout the whole process. Talk to your vet if you feel nothing is working and they might be able to offer some recommendations. Aggressive behavior can't be tolerated, otherwise, this will develop into a habit and will continue to be a problem for you. When trying to help a dog that hates bath time, make sure that your dog isn't suffering from a medical condition. This might explain some discomfort and cause the dog to act out aggressively. Dog growls during bath. 
Is your dog growling at you when you are attempting to give him a bath? It's likely he's making an association with a past memory, or simply isn't comfortable with a part of the process yet. The approach may be similar to that of an aggressive dog. A dog growling is certainly a sign of warning. Try some of these things to see if this will help. Place a non-slip bath mat in the tub, which might make your dog a little more comfortable, and won't find it as slippery. Ask a friend for some additional help. This may be enough to distract your dog, and hopefully, the assistance won't be needed after a few times. If you feel at risk of getting a bit, apply a muzzle for your protection. This should only be a last resort. Talk to your vet for any additional recommendations. Don't forget to praise and reward for good behavior. You need to find a way to desensitize your dog from any fears it may have, and make their experience a positive one. It may take time, but with patience, it can be done. Why does my dog get aggressive after a bath? It's finally over. Your dog might not care to be bathed, and may be thankful for that stressful event to be over. A dog may be waiting for its opportunity to get free from this uncomfortable situation. Now they are now confined to the tub, this may be where they feel a little more confident at expressing their dislike. This experience may be exceptionally difficult for your dog, and you may need to think of a different approach. This is too strange. Getting a bath can feel odd when forced to stay still for a long period of time, being washed with various products and objects, and not knowing what is going on can be terrifying. Your dog may hate bath time completely and just wants it to be over. A sign of aggression may be his way of letting you know that he's done with this and want to make sure you know that too. If you start to move towards your dog, then all of a sudden he starts showing signs of aggression. Your dog might suspect that you're attempting to give him another bath, and giving you a negative response may discourage you from trying that nonsense again. Is it okay to let your dog air dry? It will not be recommended to air dry your dog, and using a towel to help dry them off would be ideal. Using a towel should be used for a long hair dog, but may not be as essential for a pet that has short hair. Your dog will still likely try to shake off the excess, it will just be more of a mess for a long haired dog. You can check it out in the description and decide if a dog towel is something you are interested in. What do groomers use to dry dogs? Pet groomers can use a variety of ways to dry all different sizes of dogs. Let's take a look at the few ways they might try. Kennel dryers. A great option for short haired dogs. These kennel dryers allow the groomer to multitask with helping other customers while the dog is comfortably drying in the cage. There are a few things you need to know if this is what you would like to do. Place a soft absorbent towel on the bottom of the cage. This will make it a little more comfortable for them. The temperature should be on the lower side when drying. It should be barely warm. High heat can be very dangerous to dogs and it wouldn't take long to harm them. Finish dryers. These dryers are usually mounted on some type of post. These dryers tend to be quieter than a high velocity dryer and don't push air through as fast. These finish dryers are a popular choice for curly hair dogs because of the straightening effect it has. Some of these dryers may have heat, so a groomer may need to use caution, or it's possible the dog's coat may get too hot. Forced air dryers. If someone is looking to remove moisture quickly from a dog's coat, then a forced air dryer would be a popular choice. Most of these dryers don't contain heat, so they can remove any risk that may come from overheating a dog. A favored choice for safety, but the noise of the device may be hard on your pet. If your dog is sensitive to loud sounds or suffers from anxiety, then this may not be the best option. Using a drying unit on a dog's coat can improve his appearance and keep his coat shiny for days to come. Hair dryers. The short answer is yes, but we will explore this a little further below on how this is done. This type of method can be used by groomers and is a popular choice for fluff drying a dog. 
Groomers should use caution when drying near sensitive areas of any pet. Can I use a hair dryer to dry my dog? Most of us own a hair dryer and can be easily used for drying a dog's hair. This can be very helpful when trying to fluff a dog's hair. This can be helpful when trying to fluff dry a dog's hair, and this is how that's done. Wash and rinse, washing the dog's coat will improve the process. Make sure there is no residue left, or it will make things much harder. Towel dry your dog, don't overdo this part, you want your pet to have a little bit of dampness, which will allow you to properly fluff dry your dog. Keep control, your dog isn't going to enjoy this and attempt to flee at the first opportunity. This is why a leash may be a good idea to discourage any pet from taking off. Hair dryer method, this is very simple to do, and all that's required is to brush against the grain while blow drying the dog hair. Use caution on the amount of heat you use, and the desired strength of air will depend on how thick your dog's coat is. Congratulations, your dog has now been officially fluffed. How to give a dog a bath without water. If you can't seem to get your dog to take a bath, but you are looking for another option. This may be a good choice, especially if your dog isn't capable of a typical bath. This is all you need to do. Go buy some dry shampoo from your local veterinarian, or you can buy one online from the description here. This will be a much easier and faster method than using water, but the traditional method should be used if your dog is filthy. Brush out any excess hair before the cleaning, this will make your life much easier. Now apply a damp warm cloth to the dog's coat. It's now time for the shampoo. Start applying the shampoo with the cloth all over the dog, and keep applying until you don't need it anymore. Now you are done, so brush the dog's hair until there are no knots left. Bonus, 10 tips. 10. Don't slip, invest in a non-slip bath mat, this may be the very reason your pet hates the bath. 9. Slow down, don't try to rush through washing your dog. Moving too quickly may make your dog too nervous, so take your time. 8. Watch your tone, don't raise your voice before, during, or even after cleaning your canine. Your dog may think something is wrong if the tone of your voice is concerning. 7. Yummy treat. A little distraction may be all you need. Apply some peanut butter to the upper part of the tub. This may help keep your dog's focus on the treat and may start making a positive association with bath time. 6. Good job Fido. Reward your dog after everything is finished and has cooperated throughout this whole process. Before you know it, your clean furry friend will start remembering what they get after behaving when getting bathed. 5. Just right, make sure you use the perfect temperature of the water on your dog. They will not be comfortable with hot or cold water, so getting this right before you expose them to it would be ideal. When trying to think of how warm it should be, ask yourself, is this the right temperature for a baby? 4. Try outside. Maybe your dog feels trapped in the tub and could just feel out of place in there. Step your game up and bring bath time outside. The environment may be a little more comfortable for your dog, which may make this a little easier for the two of you. 3. Good dog, keep talking calmly to your dog. Constantly praising and assuring will be helpful for a pet when trying to identify something is wrong through your actions. 2. Avoid faucet. If your dog doesn't like the sound of the faucet, or maybe it just scares him. Try using a cup or small container to use instead. 1. Toy time. Put one of your dog's favorite toys in the tub. Having something they love in the water with them may make them feel better. Conclusion. I've given you lots of great strategies you can start trying immediately. My goal was to help you understand what might be going on with your dog and to give you actionable steps to make this a smooth activity for both of you. Don't be discouraged and patience will go a long way. You've got this, it just takes time. The fact that you are here trying to find a solution tells me your dog is in good hands.